Alrighty guys, so I have the tandem uh, pump there out for the power steering and for the um, SLS rear suspension in these. The SLS rear suspension in this car is pretty good, like it was only redone, it drove really really well. So I want to maintain that because this is going to be a practical car. I want to be able to carry people and load it up with all the bits and pieces, you know what I mean? So. Um, yeah, so uh, and I have those rear row of seats as well. So I want to be able to carry seven people in this. I don't want it slammed out or banging out the whole time. Um, more on that at the end with my wheel choice. Um, so I'm uh, still still thinking about that. But anyway, so I have that I have that out um, because that's the one that was on it. I didn't know when I installed the engine, but it won't work. So uh, I have the three of them here. So the three of them I have is I have a NA606 Estate uh, W124 or S124 um, tandem pump. Uh, I have the one that came on this car which was a M103 300TE W124. So both of these are 124. And then I have the one that came from the 300 um, or the E300 W210 um, with the 606. So both that's from a 606, that's from a 606, this is from a 103. The 103 is the same block as a 606 um, in design. Uh, so they're all coming from a very similar engine, if you know what I mean. So uh, working from, let's work from the original one that came on the W210. So basically we have a two different chambers on that. So there is potential for me to have made this work. Um, we have a, a an, an out or a pressure port and a pressure port and then we have the just the reservoir feed in here. There is two different cylinders which will have two different pressures. One would have been for the, um, sorry if I'm, uh, the, the steering, the, let's say rack, rack and pinion steering is it that's uh, in a modern more modern car um, versus what comes with the w14 which would be a steering box now sorry if i get these terminologies wrong uh, i'm trying to go entirely from memory so um basically i think the rear one there is for your uh, rack and pinion, pinion steering um, and the front here is for your sls suspension and then if we go and have a look at the W124 with the OM60, or sorry, with the M103 engine, it's a similar setup, but the reservoir up here is your power steering reservoir, feeding your your um, power steering box, or your steering box. And then you have on the very front, at the highest pressure, you have your rear SLS suspension reservoir, being, and then your pressure feed to that. Now let's have a look here. So we have this still has the hose that went to to the uh, to the SLS reservoir SLS, or the the uh, suspension reservoir, and then we have our suspension um, our suspension uh, hose there that goes to this goes around underneath the engine block and back over to the left hand side of the engine. Let me just grab an example for you so that would be sitting here that would go underneath here and it actually on the m103 it snuck up by the alternator here and then came round to that port there so that's your pressure feed for the sls and then you have a return pipe that comes all the way there and it's just a low pressure so that feeds back in to the reservoir so you can see the other thing is this uh part here um, would be on, on this, on the, on the later model NA606124, uh, this, this was put on here and um, on, on the one here, let's say the 89 um, pre-facelift or slightly, I mean it's the second facelift. Um, of, of, of the W124, it had a crimped on connection, if you know what I mean. So uh, let me just show you that. So basically, the NA606 would have had just a hose that led to the front radiator bar. 
where this will be one of these here. So it'd be assuaged connection similar to your brake lines at most hydraulics and I can actually show you there so this is the front radiator that would have been on the um, later model 606 NA606124 I know this is getting very very kind of overly uh, drawn out detail wise but just give you an idea so that would have been just your hose going straight up to there so I have that option I can do that but what I, I'm just going to um, I'm just going to run the 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 M103 one and the reason for that um, actually sorry I'll rewind a bit so that's that's where we're at now so we got these kind of two pumps are very similar this is actually quite similar to from the W210 um, but you know it, it's, it's not good to, it's not it's not worth the effort so we have now we have so we'll throw that away for a second so now we have a NA606 and we have a M103 uh, pump. So if I can show you the two different sizes there of the belt drive, right? Now, if I look at the original one from the W210, that one is, if I place it on top, that is our closest in size. So that's perfect. So we're using this one, uh, this, this pulley, Okay, so then we get rid of that oversized one. All right, so now we're down to this here. And there is a lesson at the end of all this. <laughs> and I'm not just um, kind of going out of my way to be awkward here. So the M103 engine has uh, your two joints here, similar to that. See the two there, similar to this one, two there. So, uh, but it also has two to go straight through the center here and into the uh, aluminium housing, I think it is, for the timing cover. But we don't have that on the 606. So what they have done, and they've done the same, is they have actually made, see you've got your two bolts, same as these two. But then they have this little bracket going off. And that means that this will just go straight through and into uh, into the side of the uh, timing cover uh, or the, the, yeah, the, 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 the aluminium molding. So I'll be able to just whip that off there and pop it onto here. Perfect. Why am I doing all of that? Well, this is the lesson. And I was told, I, Max uh, told me on, on YouTube and um, he was dead right. This one here had a, I remember when it came, the, the fan belt was just jumping around, or the auxiliary belt was just jumping around. I suppose you could say fan belt as well, hopping around uh, where the tensioner was worn. And as a result, it had snapped that bracket right off. And he told me this was gonna happen, or that I could find it, have this case, uh, well before I seen it. So that's how I got to it. And then when I loosened off that nut that went through, that bolt went through, that just fell loose as well. So, that means I cannot use that one. Well, I, I suppose I could, I can go and get that tigged and, and make up some kind of system. But why bother when I have the M103 one? There is also slight differences in the size of the chamber. Um, and that might well be an issue uh, relating to rev range. So it might well be a case of the lower diesel one needs that bigger chamber because it doesn't have as high a revolution engine. Um, but we will just have to live with that. But yeah, so there you go there. There's a detailed kind of comparison of the two different pumps uh, that came in a W124 for the six cylinder models and the original um, 210 six cylinder one. And actually, just as a side note, they have the same bracket on the back there. Slightly different, but you could probably make that work as well. If you wanted to, you could probably grab that from one of them and just cut that off because the NA606 and W14 is quite difficult to find. So that is that. The other, the, what I was saying to you about practicality, brake wise, or sorry, not brake wise, uh, wheel wise, I am going to try and find some genuine Mercedes. I'm, I'm really reluctant to buy aftermarket ones. Every time I look for an aftermarket one that says, was cracked, now welded, is buckled, or uh, has severe lacquer peel, or something like that. 
or lack of worm as they sometimes put into it. Like I would love a set of BBSs. Um, I can, the genuine ones I can't afford, the fake ones are so crap. So, um, the, what I'm gonna look for is I'm gonna look for some contemporary, um, contemporary Mercedes ones. Uh, so I, I seen there's a, a kind of a slab based one that comes on a an old uh, yeah d-class from like the seven like 2007 that kind of period and there's also a um one that comes from a, on a c220 which is a bbs as well uh, and has your studs going around so that that's quite nice and i've seen a set but your man wants mad money for it and um, where there's 17 on the front 18 on the rear which would be nice, but I'm actually, I'm looking for a set of 17s. Uh, another set of wheels I've seen, and I'm sort of, sort of torn. It could be, it could be really marmite -y. I don't mind marmite as long as I like it. Um, was a set of A-class, modern A-class. Like I'm thinking 2012, 2000, and, or sorry, not 2000, 2015, 2017. A-class uh, wheels and they've got this kind of anthracite colour with a uh, diamond cut fleck going through them they would be so at odds with the old school it might actually work it might really be nice on a set of 17s and this car will be low so uh, relatively low practical but relatively low it might well look um, look cool or it could look really really bad <laughs> that's the, that's the risk if you know what I mean the other alternatives are a set of Borbet um, wheels I was thinking about 3SMs or 3SDMs um, the is it the 0.5 or 0 0.005s with that kind of same Borbet look like this big slab sort of look like the Mondials that come in the Land Rovers um, but they tend to be cracked and welded, pretty much the same. So I think those STMs are either being driven by louts or they're uh, just a poor quality wheel. Whereas I'd be very safe with a genuine Mercedes wheel and suited to the car in some or some way linked to the car as well. So yeah, the the BBSs would be nice. The BBSs that that Mercedes had, which they were st staggered, you know, 17, 18, they'd be cool as well. Um, or what do you think? Do you think those other wheels would be horrible? Um, I think some of you will know the, the A-class ones I'm talking about. They're on S-class as well in different formats. Um, but the A-class ones were 17s. Um, tell me what you think, guys. And uh, if, you, if you appreciated this, I was hoping this is a good resource for people that are in the same issue as I was trying to figure out the pumping situation. Not major a lot of figuring out, but this would save me a lot of time if I had seen a video like this. Um, if you liked that, um, let me know. Appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.